Understanding interrupted actions in future continuous tense. Hello language learners! Today, we're diving into an exciting part of English grammar, interrupted actions in the future. This video is part of our comprehensive series on the future continuous tense. Ready? Let's get started! Before we proceed, let's do a quick recap on the future continuous tense. This tense is used to express an ongoing action that will occur in the future. It's typically formed using will plus be plus the present participle, the ing form, of the verb. For example, I will be eating dinner at 7 p.m. tonight. Now, let's understand what we mean by interrupted actions in the future. Here, the future continuous tense is used to express an action that will be in progress at a specific time in the future when it will be interrupted by another action. The interrupting action is usually in the simple present or simple future tense. When we want to say that an action in the future will be interrupted by another action, we use the structure will be verb plus ing when simple present tense verb or will be verb plus ing when simple future tense verb for instance i will be studying when you arrive or i will be studying when you will call important to note the latter structure with the simple future tense in the second part of the sentence is less common and often considered less correct in formal writing. However, you will still hear it in colloquial speech. Let's look at some more examples to clarify the concept. 1. We will be playing football when the sun sets. 2. They will be watching a movie when you get there. 3. She will be cooking dinner when her husband comes home. In all these sentences, the action that is in progress, playing football, watching a movie, cooking dinner, will be interrupted by another action, the sun setting, you arriving, her husband coming home. And that wraps up our lesson on interrupted actions in the future continuous tense. Remember, practice makes perfect. So. Try to use these structures in your daily English conversations to become more fluent and natural. Thanks for watching, and keep up the great work on your English language journey.